Space is the most taken for granted thing ever. You know how crazy it is and it's above you every day and it never comes up. If we all lived underground or indoors, there was only one place in the whole world where you could see space, you know how popular that shit would be? Everybody would travel to see space. You would just stand there and hold hands and look up and go, Wah! But instead, it's just there every day. And you're like, oh, look, the Big Dipper. Oh, it's great. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The brain shapes reality based upon the experiences of the being. The experiences of the being is information to the brain. This information is based on sensory inputs. What we see, hear, taste, smell, and touch provides information about the nature of reality. On this basis alone, our surroundings have a huge effect on us. I explore how city design and architecture affects the mind in my series, The Species with Amnesia, so I won't focus on that for this video. Instead, I want to point out a significant problem with our experience of reality our inability to view the night sky. You see, our civilizations are designed to maximize the efficiency of economic growth. The Founding Fathers must have considered the psychological aspects of city designs. They designed civilizations so that our attention is directed towards the immediate surroundings. This is made clear, especially at night. Most people's perceptions on life is that there are roads, buildings, skylines, and horizons, instead of viewing us as bacteria on a massive ball. So by not seeing the stars at night, we lose connection to that sense of being a part of something that is truly epic. Let's explore the validity in that statement. The sun is a star. The sun is 149.6 million kilometers away from us. To put that in perspective, if you were driving on the highway at 140 kilometers an hour non-stop to the sun, it would take 121 fucking years to reach the sun. So now that you have an idea of how far away the closest star is, let's take a look at the other stars. To get a sense of this scale, we'll have to use a different method of measurement. Instead of traveling 140 kilometers an hour, we're gonna travel at the speed of light. What is light speed? 299,792 kilometers per second. To get a sense of how fast that is, the Earth is only 12,742 kilometers wide. Light travels the distance of the Earth over 23 times per second. Now that you know what light speed is, the nearest star to the Sun is 4.5 light years away. In other words, if we were traveling 299,792 kilometers per second, it would take four and a half years to reach the nearest star. Now get this, there are over 500 billion stars that make up our galaxy that we call the Milky Way. The galaxy, which is basically a hurricane of stars, is so vast that it would take 100,000 light years to travel from one side of the galaxy to the other, 299,792 kilometers per second for 100,000 years. Are you mind blown yet? Get this, the nearest galaxy to ours is 2.5 million light years away, traveling 299,792 kilometers per second for over 2 million years. And guess what? There are over 2 trillion galaxies that make up the observable universe. Those aren't light bulbs, motherfucker! Those are huge nuclear explosions billions of miles away! And it goes on forever. Do you know what forever means? It means this whole universe of hundreds of billions of galaxies might just be a part of one atom that's in the cell of the balls of one guy who lives in another universe. It's part of one atom that's a cell of a ball and a guy. And it goes on and on and on and on forever! And there's no fucking end! And the more our technology advances, the more we'll be able to observe. Each galaxy is made up of billions of stars. Most, if not all stars, have planets of their own. Solar systems. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on Earth. And yet, at nighttime, most people see this. Even if you travel to the countryside, you are still not seeing the true image. For that, one would have to travel to places on Earth that are desolate to get a sense of what kind of reality that we are all inhabiting. But most people never see the universe with their own eyes. I personally believe that this was intentional as a part of this system's design. Much like how we have severed our connection to our roots and severed our connection with spirit, we have severed our connection to the stars, which is the ultimate severance of our identity. We are all made of star stuff. The chemical properties of your body are the elements of the earth. The elements of the earth originate from the remnants of a star that went supernova. So in fact, we are the offspring of stars and planets. 
We are organisms that derive from the elements of the universe, so we are the universe. The act of looking into the night sky is the act of the universe coming full circle. Self-actualization. This is all not even mentioning the fact that when you look up at the night sky, chances are people from across the universe are looking right back at you. 